Welcome back to 843 TV here from the Colleton River Golf Club. We're sharing about the wonderful amenities that we have here and the Incandelas have been sharing about their new lifestyle. Mr. Ross also has been sharing about uh, the lifestyle experience here and we've talked a lot about golf. But let's talk about the other thing that is a huge attraction to our area and of course that's the waterways. So if someone is into boating, into the water lifestyle, that can mean a number of things. Share with us a little bit about the amenities here. Well, we, we do have a uh, deep water access dock on the Colleton River. Uh, we don't have permanent boat storage here at Colleton River, uh, but um, you, if you have a boat and you want to use it for a weekend or a day, you can tie it up to our dock uh, temporarily. Uh, it's a great place for personal watercraft also. Uh, in the in the Colleton River, uh, we have kayak racks at our at our dock for the members to store their kayaks, and we also have a kayak launch ramp uh, on the end of the dock to facilitate our members uh, getting into and out of the Colleton River. Um, we also have a uh, riverfront. Uh, club, so to speak, and a kayak club. So there's a, there are a lot of things to do uh, water-wise water -wise around here. Uh, it's my understanding, I'm not a fisherman, but it's my understanding that the salt flats out here are excellent for fly fishing. Right, well right here on the Colleton River, so there's access for so many things. Paddle boarding, kayaking, you mentioned, is a big thing, a part of the lifestyle here these days. Debbie, have you tried that? Yes, actually, <laughs> um, the gentleman from the athletic facility will put together trips. So there's 12 to 25 people will go at a time and we'll go on nature trips with guides. So we were at the Savannah River recently. They did um, numerous trips, probably about six uh, over the span of a season. And in the summer that slows down, but it's wonderful. It's a lot of fun and it's so interesting. And also educational. Uh, when you're out there on the marsh, the things that you learn and the things that you see are Absolutely. Just, uh, just outstanding. So now that you're, you're retired, uh, the two of you, tell us what a typical day might be, quote unquote. Uh, a typical day is I, I hit the fitness center very early in the morning. Oh yes. Um, and there's a bunch of other men uh, and some women that are there that early. I'm talking about 5.30 to 6. And uh, then come home and make sure I get my overdose of the Wall Street Journal. Ah, I, I knew you couldn't stay away from business no, too long, right? No. <laughs> well, I'm not, and I have other business things and I usually take the mornings to uh, pursue those activities and get involved and and then Debbie will come in and out and she might golf in the morning. And oh, I'll talk about that. Uh, okay. <laughs> uh, then in the afternoons I usually, uh, you know, have lunch and then take off and play some golf or practice. But one of the things that's uh, so intriguing around here is that we've met so many people and they're so inviting that there's almost a night that doesn't go by that we're not invited or we invite people to dine with. Sure. And the other thing that's been markedly important here for us is that people actually entertain in their homes. Mm -hmm. uh, where we came from in Florida, while it happened once in a while, you know, it, here it's a routine and it's there, you know, again, you meet people, you get to see their personalities in their home and it's been terrific. And also most people here in, in your, like your situation, are all from all over. So you get to learn about their backgrounds and right. learn about their experiences in different parts of the country. So it's almost a little adventure every right. day, and right? And we're here for the same reason. There's a lot of common commonality that way. Um, the other things I'll get involved in or have, there's a book club. There's actually a few book clubs, okay. and I love it. We meet monthly. Um, there, there's bridge, there's um, card games, there's um, canasta. There's many, many clubs. Um, there's a very special club I got involved in, and I'll just mention it lightly. It's a, well, to put it bluntly, it's a ladies' drinking group, but uh -huh. actually, <laughs> it's an educational forum. So we'll get together once a month in the season, and we'll have someone come in and talk about a specific type of wine or liqueur or whatever. And it's educational, but we'll have dinner and we'll have drinks. And we have about 60 to 70 members. And we have a fabulous time. It's just a fun way to meet people. And I've had no problem meeting people here. Sure, I have a feeling you don't. And she doesn't drink. <laughs> well, well, I don't really drink much. <laughs> 
Well, and again, it's almost like you don't have to leave the, the club area here. But if you do, we mentioned just right outside the gate, there's plenty of dining and the fabulous, a quaint and historic town of, of Bluffton. Do you get out much and explore those areas? Yes, definitely. Um, of course, I never shop, but I do get out to Hilton Head. I've explored a lot there. I'll go into Bluffton Town Center, which they have fairs. I think they have something every weekend. They seem to. And yeah. then down. And up to Savannah, it's only a half hour away. Absolutely. And we're although you mentioned is somewhat of a remote area. It's very close to get to some larger places like yes. Charleston, like Savannah, within a day trip or less. Well, not not only that, uh, one of the boxes that we had to check was access to our kids. Airports. Uh, and okay. when we found sure. out, or she found out, that Savannah has direct flights to New York, both our three yes. of our children live in Manhattan. Our children are in Manhattan. That okay. was an automatic. Yeah, that is a huge thing, and I know and that's something automatic. that the chamber promotes is the access to and from here is easy now, much easier than it had been in previous years. So, right. so many things to talk about, such yes. fun things. I appreciate you sharing about your day-to-day -day experiences here, and thank you, Mr. Ross, for all you do here at the club, and thank you all for watching another episode of 843 TV, where communities come to speak.